landscape photography. Just so good, so, so good. Hello, and here we are again on another landscape photography mission. I've had some issues in the last couple of weeks with bad back, poor weather, things like that. And the, the vlogs that I've done recently, I, I've been lucky. I've had some good weather. Um, but today, and all of this week, in fact, the weather has been really poor. It's not looking good today either. There is a tiny glimmer of hope that there will be something good at the end of the day. When you look at your weather app and it looks a little bit like this, you've got rain, 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 and then you've got a nice little bit of sun at the end. That could mean anything a lot of the time, but sometimes it could mean something very special as the conditions change from really poor to just a glimmer of sun. That's when you get those some dramatic conditions sometimes, and hopefully that will create a little opening for me to get a good shot today. So I'm heading up to North Yorkshire, near to where I grew up. It's a place called Rosebury Topping, or the hill is called Rosebury Topping. I'm gonna to be going up there, trying to capture a couple of nice images of that and see what I can come up with. So it's fairly late in the day already. I've got a drive ahead of me, so let's go. I've arrived and as you can see from the car park there's absolutely nobody here and it's usually pretty busy here if you like a bit of solitude and being out by yourself come out when it's raining because there's no one else here and it isn't cold it's just a few drops of rain that aren't bothering me one bit so I feel already like I've won low expectations for today so I'm just going to enjoy myself come to the top with me now wet it's windy but I'm having a great time and I've got those 360 degree views all the way around the very top of Teesside I'm shouting because the wind is pretty extreme you can see the water on the camera I'm tired from that climb but man do I feel good the light is amazing there's dark bits there's bright bits it's gonna be tough getting a shot but oh Am I glad I'm up here. Woo! Windy! I'm having a good time today. I am now set up for the first shot of the day. I'm currently capturing a time lapse. The clouds over my shoulder here are just so dramatic. There's, you can see the rain coming down, then there's some dark clouds, there's a bit of brighter clouds. There's so much drama in that sky. You can capture good landscape phot photographs in absolutely any weather, and it includes wet windy weather like this it's always going to be quite dramatic but you never know when you're going to capture that really special moment it might be a big storm cloud that adds all that drama it might be a beautiful bit of sunshine poking through the clouds at just the right time you just never know and you're not going to capture that shot unless you brave these conditions i actually don't feel i'm being that brave today it's just a little bit windy and wet i'm really not cold at all I've braved it all through the winter as well, so today is a piece of cake, if I am honest. Plus, I've come back to very close to where I grew up, so it's never a bad thing coming home. Now, shot-wise, like I said, I'm just capturing the time-lapse. Then I'm going to try a shot a little bit closer in, probably with the 72-200, to really try and bring some of that drama into a photograph to add to the time-lapse and add to the story of this day I'm having. So I'm 
come down off as we top in. It's now just a march back to the car. I really am struggling for time, but the weather is looking absolutely beautiful now. I think we're on. Come on, hurry up. Second location, marching up another hill as fast as I possibly can. Light now is looking tremendous. Come on, I'm nearly there. I think I might make it. It's gonna to be touch and go though. So I'm in position for the final shot of the day and I've made it, so I'm very pleased about that. Got a little bit of time just to get composed before the sun sets, but it's looking absolutely beautiful. The light is going to come down below, or the sun's going to come down below the clouds and hopefully then just light those clouds up. I've got rosemary topping over my shoulder here. And then if we spin around a bit, you can just see that little bit of water down at the bottom there. And I've also just got the heather starting to flower in the foreground, but it's all about the light for me tonight. I just really hope it's going to do something really special settings wise again i am bracketing because i've got some a nice bit of dynamic range between the sky and the ground and i can catch all that with bracketing there was some big opinions about my nd grads versus bracketing video but each to their own kind of like i said in that video i'm at f8 because the foreground interest is a bit of a distance away i don't think i need to go any more than that i might go to f11 just to try and get a bit more of that flowering heather in focus i'm at a shutter speed of around 1 15th of a second and iso 100 and like i said with the bracketing i've got the circular polarizer on the front as well i don't think i'll need it so i might take that off as the sun starts to set i'm not going for long exposure or anything like that it's just going to be a straight up shot so it's just a matter of waiting now and what a place to wait looking over teesside at rosemary topping my home you can't go wrong might get a little time lapse, might do something else, or I might just sit here and enjoy it. But probably about 20 minutes to go, and we'll see what happens. Just while I'm waiting for the sun to set, I thought I'd just let you know about a couple of things I've got coming. Firstly, I'm very, very proud to announce, and I think it's something you might be interested in, is that I have launched a podcast. The podcast is out now. Go to all your favourite podcast providers and just search for First Man Photography and you will be able to see or listen to the new First Man Photography podcast. Also, if you head over to firstmanphotography.com, I'm now offering a photo critique service. It's something I've been thinking about for quite a while because I was I did the photo critique videos. They were very, very popular and I'm still getting a lot of people contacting me on a daily basis asking for photo critiques. I'm not really doing the photo critique videos anymore, but I am now offering a photo critique service over in the store on my website. So go out and check, go and check that out. I've had a few people do it already and the feedback has been excellent. They've really got a lot out of that. And if you want some honest, constructive critique about your pictures, then that's something that you can consider, something I'm offering. It's not gonna be for everyone, absolutely not, and totally appreciate that. But if it's something you're interested in, do go and check it out. I've also got my prints for sale, t-shirts for sale. There is a lot on offer over on the website. So if you wanna support me in any way, shape or form, head over there and go and buy something because that would really help me out. And like I've been saying, I would appreciate that forever. So that's that. I think I now need to head back to the cliff edge for that sunset moment. Hopefully the cloud is playing ball. It's now sunset time, but unfortunately, I think I have lost the sun for good behind that low cloud that seems to show itself every single time I come to this area of North Yorkshire. I don't know if it's the sea uh, back, back there that brings it in, but or just bad luck, I don't know, but there we go. I've still captured a really nice shot that I'm very, very happy with, so it was still worth the trip. It's always worth braving these conditions because sometimes, especially if you see a little bit of sun on the weather forecast at the end of the day, you know we could, you could have those really special occasions when that weather turns 
to the good and those spectacular conditions come out and because people other people aren't willing to brave them you buy you're out here by yourself and you're capturing shots that no one else is going to capture it's been absolutely brilliant and i've had another great time landscape photography just so good so so good i really hope you're enjoying your landscape photography please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this video and if you would share it that would mean an awful lot to me and really help me out as well so for now i'll end the vlog there i'll see you on another one very soon i've got some really good stuff coming up as well but for now i'm adam this is first man photography in north yorkshire out <laughs>